Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Tuesday. So if you're brand new to my channel, thank you for coming and stopping by my videos. If you're already a current subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So we got some curly hair vibes going on today. I don't know if you guys can see it. So instead of like flipping my hair to the side and like pinning it here, I just left it down. So I put conditioner in there and then I combed it out. So is this a vibe or does it look weird? So I just have it like all like sitting straight down and not pushed over to the side. I used to have bangs, but then I let my hair grow out so I don't actually have bangs, but I think it looks cute. Um, so we are back in front of CVS today. We're gonna run in and do our second haul. So it's probably not gonna be as big as my normal hauls, but it's also not gonna be really, really small. But I definitely wanted to utilize some other CRTs that I had on my other account to give you guys some more ideas of things that you can do. First off, if you are new to CVS, you have to create a account so that you get an extra care card. So you will either get a physical card, and, and I can show you if I turn my car off, but you could either get a physical card like this, or you can um, just use your, um, I just turned my car on for the AC. Um, you can go on the CVS app and pull it up and it'll show a barcode. And then when you get to the store, you can just scan that at the register or scan that at the coupon machine. So when you get to the coupon machine, you need to scan your card or put in your phone number multiple times. So what I usually do, um, especially on Saturdays when I print out all of my CRTs, no, excuse me, I will put in my phone number three times back to back and then I will scan my card three times back to back and then after that I'll alternate, I'll do my phone number, then I'll scan my card, my phone number, and then scan my card and the reason why is because usually you'll get more prints, all of your prints won't just share or won't just print. Um, the first time you put in your phone number. So I'll put in my phone number and I'll get my first like reel of coupons and then I put in my phone number again and I get more coupons and more coupons. So I would highly suggest if you go to the coupon center, make sure that you're scanning your card multiple times and also alternating and putting in your phone number. On Sundays, we get the new installment of, ext or not extra bucks, uh, CRTs. So your CRTs are your CVS coupons and they are based on purchase history. So the more you buy of a certain product, the more likely you are to get more CRTs based on that item. When you first start out with CVS, you're going to have a higher out of pocket, unfortunately, because you're not gonna have any extra bucks. If you're starting out at CVS, you have to know that you are going to have a little bit of a higher out of pocket. You can roll your ECBs once you earn them, which simply means if you do a deal, you do one transaction, you earn extra bucks, you rip them off of your receipt and then you do your second transaction using the same ECBs that you got from the first one for the second one. So that's what it means by rolling ECB. So you can do that as well to help lower your out of pocket, but your first initial transactions are normally going to have a higher out of pocket because you don't have extra bucks to pay down your costs. So those are just a couple of things to keep in mind when you are couponing at CVS. My CVS also accepts expired coupons up to 14 days, manufacturer coupons, and then your CRTs <clears throat> will scan it out up to <clears throat> Sorry, I had to tickle in my throat. Your CRTs will scan up to 48 hours after expiration. So all stores can be different. Just the stores around me, they all know that I coupon and they all accept expired manufacturer coupons up to 14 days. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips if you guys are brand new to couponing at CVS. Let me know down below if you guys have any other additional questions as far as getting started at CVS. Um, Remember, I am not an expert, I am not a pro, I just try to do my best to show you guys the deals that I'm able to come up with the, with the CRTs that I have. So I try my best to make it as easy as possible to understand everything that I'm doing in store, but always drop a comment down below and let me know if there's something that you didn't understand or if you have an additional question about something that I did not cover. So let's go ahead and run in the store. Alright you guys, so the first thing that we're going to start off with is our Spend 25 get a $10 extra buck for select Schick and Bulldog products. So the first thing I'm going to pick up is going to be on some beard oil. So it's priced at $10.29. I don't have any coupons for this. And then I'm also going to pick up two of the face wash for $8.29. I have two $3 off CRTs for the Bulldog skincare products. And I'm going to pick up some more items so that I can use this 5 off of 20 shave CRT. 
So the last part of our spend 25 get 10 is going to be on some edge shave gel. So we're going to go ahead and pick up two for $3.99. Use the $1.50 off digital and the $1.50 off two printable from coupons.com. So these products will total us $26.56. After all of our coupons, we're going to be left to pay $12.56, getting back the $10 extra buck, making it just $2.50 for all of these products. So the CoverGirl is spend 15 get a seven dollar extra buck with a limit of one i'm going to be combining this with the revlon because i have a seven off of 35 cosmetic crt so i'm going to go ahead and pick up two of these pressed powders for eight dollars and 99 cents we have a three dollar off face product digital that i'm going to use and then previously printable from coupons.com i'm going to go ahead and use this three dollar off printable coupon Next, we're going to pick up some Revlon. So Revlon is spend 12, get a $4 extra buck, and it is a limit of six. So we're actually going to be picking up $24 worth of Revlon cosmetics. So we're going to get back an $8 extra buck because we're doing the deal twice. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of the Revlon press powders, price at $12.79. If you still have your $4 instant coupon from last week, we're going to go ahead and use that, as well as this $4 digital face coupon. And previously printable from coupons.com is this $4 off one coupon that I believe is still available to print now. So here is all the cosmetic that we're picking up using that 7 off of 35 cosmetic CRT. So these products total is $43.56. After all of our coupons and CRTs, we'll be left to pay $18.56, getting back a $7 extra buck for the CoverGirl deal and an $8 extra buck for the Revlon, making our final out-of-pocket cost $3.56. But all of this tracks towards beauty, so we will get back a $3 beauty buck in 48 hours, making all of these just 56 cents. So you guys know I have to pick up the L'Oreal. So L'Oreal is spend 30, get a $10 extra buck for the facial care. So I normally pick up the Revitalift, this serum right here for $31.99, but today I'm gonna pick up this one right here, same price, $31.99. We're gonna use two of the $5 off serum CRTs. We're gonna use two of the five off of 15 L'Oreal facial care CRTs. So we'll be left to pay $11.99, getting back the $10 extra buck, making this product just $1.99. L'Oreal hair color is on promotion buy two and get a five dollar extra buck so I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of the L'Oreal excellence for eleven dollars and 49 cents we're going to use the five off of two digital coupon and I'm going to use this five off of two expired insert coupon so hopefully they glitch together taking off ten dollars total and I also have two of these three dollar off L'Oreal hair care CRTs if all those come off we'll be left to pay $6.98 getting back the five dollar extra buck making these two just a dollar 98 and of course all of this does track towards cvs beauty all right you guys so the last thing we're going to pick up is going to be on some boost so boost is buy one get one 50 percent off buy four get an eight dollar extra buck so i'm going to go ahead and pick up one of these for nine dollars and 49 cents and i'm going to use this two dollar off one peely that i found a while ago and then i'm looking for a glitch to happen so i'm hoping that the two four off of two digits come off as well and I'm going to pick up two of the ones priced at $9.99. And then I'm going to use this paper for off of two printable that was previously available on coupons.com. So these products are going to total us $29.71. I'm going to go ahead and use all of the digital coupons if they glitch with the paper. I also have this four off of 20 protein CRT that I will be using. So we'll be left to pay $11.71, gaining back $8 in extra bucks for the deal making all four of these just $3.71, which I think is a great deal considering the original price of all of these products. All right, you guys, so we are back from CVS and this is everything that we picked up. Sorry for it being a little shady. It's actually around like noonish right now. So this is earlier than I normally record, but I wanted to go ahead and um, do this early so I can go and get the moving truck so I can start moving everything. So let's go over our receipts i did three separate transactions just for extra bucks reasons so on this account i only had um i believe it was 22 dollars in extra bucks to work with and obviously i was going to need way more extra bucks than that to do all of this in one transaction so i was actually rolling my extra bucks like i explained in the beginning of the video how rolling works that's what i was doing for these so that's why i'm going to show you three separate receipts for three separate transactions 
So hopefully you guys can see this okay with like the shade that's happening right now. So in this transaction, I picked up the CoverGirl and I picked up the Revlon. So there are my two printable coupons from coupons.com. There's my two digitals, one for the Revlon, one for the CoverGirl. The 7 off of 35 Cosmetics CRT. My $4 instant coupon for the Revlon. And then I used $18 in extra bucks. So I paid a subtotal of $0.56. Cents. And then for this transaction, I got back eight dollars and extra bucks for the revlon and then seven dollars and extra bucks for the cover girl here's our second transaction so i picked up all of the boosts in this transaction then i did the edge and the bulldog products so there are all of my paper coupons right there my printables and then that two dollar peely for the boost the two boost digitals did glitch the shave cream digital did glitch is my 5 off of 20 shave crt my 4 off of 20 protein crt my two three dollar off for the bulldog skincare and i used 20 dollars in extra bucks alarm out of pocket and i paid four dollars and 83 cents out of pocket remember i was only working with a certain amount of extra bucks so i knew i was going to have a subtotal for some of these transactions so i paid four dollars and 83 cents plus tax out of pocket now if you have two of those four off of two printables instead of using one and then using a peely you could use two of the printables so your total would actually be two dollars and 83 cents and then i did get back the eight dollars for the boost deal and then i got back the ten dollars for the edge shave deal so i got back eighteen dollars in extra bucks the last transaction we did, we picked up the all the L'Oreal products basically. So I picked up both of the hair care, uh, the hair color for $11.49, and then I picked up that serum for $31.99. So there are all of my coupons. There is my insert coupon for five off of two for the L'Oreal hair color. The five off of two digital did glitch. There are all of my CRTs for the facial care, and my two dollar CRT is for the hair color. So I ended up using $17 in extra bucks because that's just what I had left. And then my subtotal was $1.97 and I got back the $10 in extra bucks for the L'Oreal uh, facial care and then $5 in extra bucks for the hair care. All right, you guys, so everything here uh, was a pretty good transaction. I wish that I had another printable for off of two for the boost, but I couldn't find my other one when I was looking in my bag. So it might be in my car somewhere, but I just didn't feel like running to my car to look for it because I actually was pretty quick in store i was pretty in and out with this um with these transactions um and we did spend about 98 dollars worth of qualifying beauty products in this transaction well in all three so we will get back a nine dollar beauty buck in 48 hours so the nine dollar beauty buck makes up for the subtotals that we had with the boost Ooh, excuse me and with the l'oreal hair color um the subtotals that we had so we had about i want to say probably closer to five fifty in a subtotal today but we're getting back the nine dollars in a beauty bucks from um all of the beauty that we did so it kind of makes up for that this was not a money maker transaction obviously because i had subtotals and everything and i paid more extra bucks out of pocket than i am getting back but i still thought it was a really great transaction in utilizing the crts that i had and rolling my extra bucks to lower my out of pocket and I was able to pick up a couple of new items. I don't normally get the Boost Mask, so um, now I can have my grandmother try that. It's got more protein than the normal one. And I'm able to get some different hair color. Normally I get um, the Clairol hair color. I donate that. I don't color my own hair. So I, that's just another product that I donate. And I also donate the makeup because myself and my mom don't use that kind of makeup. I don't use makeup at all. And normally I just give her like the brow pencils and stuff. So this was a great transaction for me. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.